I'm actually not very competitive at all in the gym or like in a competition. My goal is never to win, it just kind of happens. But I also feel like whenever you're at the top, everybody like preys on your downfall, which is really strange to me. Now that's a surprising take. As you all know, athletes live and breathe competition. Whatever sports event it may be, every self-respecting athlete's goal is to come out on top, stand on the podium, or receive the most coveted gold medal. But Simone Biles, after years and years of competing, only wants to enjoy every moment. Well, truth be told, she no longer has to try so hard. After all, she is the most decorated gymnast in history with more than three dozen Olympic and World Championship medals to her name. Since returning to professional gymnastics in August 2023, Simone has hinted at what she hopes will be her next achievement for months, to compete at the 2024 Paris Olympics. The 27-year-old recently reiterated that's her goal during an interview on the Call Her Daddy podcast. But first, the two-time Olympian is scheduled to compete at this year's Core Hydration Classic on May 18th. Just so you know, Biles is a six-time all-around winner at the Classic, including at last August's competition. The legendary gymnast could also compete at the 2024 U.S. Gymnastics Championships, beginning May 30th ahead of U.S. Olympic team trials for the sport at the end of June. If she makes the squad, Biles will become the first American gymnast since 2000 to have made three Olympic teams. Only Muriel Davis Grossfield, Linda Metheny, and Dominique Dawes have previously achieved that. The Paris Games begin July 26th. Her participation in Paris is something a lot of people are very much looking forward to seeing. It is probably no secret to you that her Tokyo journey sparked global conversations about the importance of prioritizing physical and mental health in elite sports. Following a hiatus of two years and two days, Biles made a comeback in August 2023, clinching her eighth all-around individual national title in a decade. Subsequently, in October 2023, she secured her sixth individual world title in Antwerp, Belgium. As she now gears up for the Paris Olympics, the gymnastics community speculates on whether Biles would have pursued participation in Paris had she not suffered from the twisties in Tokyo. Amidst the countless speculations surrounding Simone Biles' potential participation in the Paris Olympics, several sports enthusiasts weren't shy to share their perspectives. One fan mused, reflecting on the timing and circumstances, I don't know to be honest, I think if it had been in 2020 and no COVID, probably no, but it being 2021 and less than three years away was probably less of a psychological, OMG, I can't face another quad barrier. The fan suggested that the presence of COVID-19 in 2020 could have made participation less likely, and this was the illusion needed to cement Biles's possible return. Another commenter recalled Biles's pre-Tokyo sentiments about retiring, stating, She said before Tokyo that she wanted to retire after Tokyo, but was considering coming back for Paris in honor of her French coaches. This observation underscores the significance of personal connections and professional relationships in shaping Biles' potential Olympic journey. One user highlighted the challenges Biles faced during the Tokyo Quad. During the Tokyo Quad, she was dealing with the aftermath of abuse and the USA Gymnastics scandals and wasn't finding much joy in the sport, but it seems that she was happier after the Quad ended. All of this probably made it easier for her to make the comeback she had previously considered. They speculate that the post-Olympic period brought positive changes, such as new USAG leadership and personal milestones, which may have reignited Biles' enthusiasm for competition. Whatever it may be, what's pretty much evident now is the fact that Simone appears to be better after a two-year hiatus from the sport. Her marriage to NFL football player Jonathan Owens during this time also seemed to help her on the grander scale of things. And that's what truly matters, right? As all of those issues are behind her now, there are still a lot of watchful eyes directed at her, this time about the fast approaching Paris Olympics. And as earlier mentioned, Biles is scheduled to compete at the 2024 Core Hydration Classic in a few more days. The Olympic superstar joined by Suni Lee and Gabby Douglas will all be in Hartford next week competing at the 2024 Core Hydration Classic. All three have officially registered for the event being held May 17th and 18th at the XL Center. 
The U.S. Classic will be the first competition of the season for Biles. It will be the first time in history that three Olympic all-around gold medalists will compete head-to-head -head in the same event, according to USA Gymnastics. In fact, it was just a few days ago when USA Gymnastics announced that Sunisa Lee, the Tokyo 2020 winner, Simone Biles, Golden at Rio 2016, and Gabby Douglas, the historic London 2012 champion, are all scheduled to take part in the event. Previously, Lee and Biles and Lee and Douglas have competed in the same events after having had their Olympic triumphs. All three last competed at the same event at the 2016 U.S. Championships, where only Douglas had already claimed the Olympic all-around crown. Anyway, going back, Olympic gymnast Jade Carey and Jordan Childs will also be competing in Hartford. The two-day event will see junior participants competing on Friday, May 17th, and the senior gymnasts, including Biles, Douglas, and Lee, will compete on Saturday, May 18th. In case you didn't know, the Core Hydration Classic ramps up the process for gymnasts to qualify for the 2024 Olympic team that will represent the USA in Paris in July and August. The event in Hartford will be the final competition for the gymnast to qualify for the 2024 Xfinity U.S. Championships in Fort Worth, Texas, from May 30th to June 2nd. At the Texas event, the national team roster will be chosen to attend the Olympic trials in Minneapolis, Minnesota from June 27th to the 30th. Speaking of Paris, reigning world and Olympic vaulting champion Rebecca Andrade of Brazil says she hopes she and competitor Simone Biles of the United States will be in top form when the Olympic Games Paris 2024 roll around in less than 80 days. It's about doing my best and I hope Biles does too, that she does her best because it's an honor to be able to compete alongside her, Andrade said. The women's competition in artistic gymnastics is likely to be all about the duo, who finished 1-2 in the all-around at last year's World Championships and shared the vault, balance beam, and floor exercise podiums as Biles grabbed gold in all but the vault. In the all-around, the duo was joined by American Shalisi Jones, who also finished runner-up to Andrade in 2022. Together, Biles, Andrade, and Jones represented the first time three black women had landed on the world all-around podium. Representation, right? Andrade said, We're seeing a lot more black athletes and being able to represent and encourage so many children and young people who previously thought they couldn't dream but today can not only dream but can believe that it is possible. Nevertheless, despite their on-mat rivalry, Andrade and Biles share a cordial and respectful relationship. At the 2023 World Artistic Gymnastics Championships in Antwerp, Belgium, Simone Biles and Rebecca Andrade once again stood together on the podium. After the floor exercise finals, Biles secured the gold medal, Andrade the silver, and Flavia Sariava the bronze. In an iconic gesture, before they could be handed their medals, Biles removed her crown and placed it atop Andrade's head, symbolizing the passing of the torch. The heartwarming bond shared between the two rivals left fans in a frenzy as the gymnasts gear up for Paris. Whatever happens in Paris, though, Simone Biles wants to turn her post-Olympic tour into a celebration. The most decorated gymnast will once again tour the United States in an arena show following the 2024 Olympic Games. Titled Gold Over America Tour, the show is a nod to a greatest of all time moniker and is set for 30 cities across the U.S. As we wait for the previously mentioned upcoming events, watch this to find out who else is vying for a spot in the team competing in Paris.